Hey guys, this is JJ. I am coming to you today with something crafty. I'm going to say it's something crafty because I have absolutely no clue what I'm doing. I kind of have an idea in my head of what I wanted to do. But I'm not really sure if it will work out that way. But I figured I'd share my little crafty endeavor with you guys. So you know how in our diamond painting kits we get all these little extra boats. You know, we got some green ones and some white ones and some clear ones. Well, I've been collecting so many of these. And I've been thinking to myself, well, what can I possibly do with these? Besides just let them keep stacking up. You know, I like to try to reuse things and do stuff with it if I can. So I thought, well, why not make some kind of like a pencil holder or like a makeup brush holder or something? A multi-level holder of some kind. Now, I got a bunch of colored pencils and I got a bunch of markers and stuff like that, but I don't really have any place to put them. I've been keeping all of my markers and stuff in like a jar like this um see i got my you can't tell but i got markers and stuff in there and my toothbrush for my diamond painting and whatnot but i figured why not try to use these to make a you know a pencil holder so what i've been sitting here doing is i've been taking these boats and i snip this part off so they look like that. There's no uh, top to it. I've been snipping it off. I got some crappy scissors. So I've been using my crappy scissors to snip it off. It, it's a little tough, but it works. But I definitely use crappy scissors or something. Oh, and be careful because the pieces do fly. So there's that one. So I got a, I got a couple here that I've been snipping Snipping the pieces off of. Let's see here. Cut these off. Oh, there we go. Here's another one. Yeah, just cut the top off. Oop! Whoops! Flying stuff. Yeah, you might want to wear some protective gear, guys. Uh, you might take an eyeball out. So, I'm warning you. <laughs> okay. So, what I started doing was I started gluing gluing um, them together. Like this. You know, gluing the corners. So, glue a couple more. I mean, you can Probably, if you wanted to, which, yeah, I, I, maybe I'll do that. If, yeah, yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay, so, because I want it to kind of be like a divider, I guess. So, um, I'm using hot glue. Be very careful if you got a glue gun. Um, yeah, this stuff is super, super hot, and you can burn yourself. Um, I have a high temp glue gun, so. <clears throat> my popsicle stick I just use um, some po a popsicle stick to kind of and, and I plan on hiding this with some ribbon and stuff so that you don't see all the glue and whatnot so just hold it there for a minute until it um, dries Give it a few more minutes. It don't take very long to dry. Okay, so it should be dry. So as you see, it made like a little box. 
kind of thing. So I'm going to make a couple more of these. You just, like I said, you just cut the, the top off and then you just glue them on the sides. All right. So uh, stay tight and I'll have a couple more of these made. Okay, guys, sorry about that. My camera cut off. Um, I had thought I had paused it, but I guess I turned it off by accident. So, um, anyways, I'm sitting here just gluing some more of these together real quick. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a long video because I, I don't know how long it's going to take me to do what I'm, a, what I'm doing here. So, but I figured this would be something... Fun for you guys to watch while you're crafting, diamond painting, or whatever you're doing. Um, I get these little stupid ideas in my head, and sometimes I just, you know, go for it. You know, and these things just kept accumulating. I just kept getting more and more of these uh, trays, and I only need a couple of them. And I've given some of them away. And I still kept getting more. Um, I ha still have the green ones that I haven't used yet. I'm going to do something with those, though, too, at some point. But right now, I'm just working with the these ones. Because I had a few of these. Let's see here. And I love this this glue gun because the glue sticks are so cheap. Um, they don't cost a lot. You get a bunch of them, like a hundred sticks for like five bucks, and they're big sticks of glue, as you can see right there um, on the on my desk. I'm using the popsicle sticks so I don't glue this to my my desk. See, I'm getting glue everywhere. This, this is the only thing that I don't like about glue is that it's so damn messy. And this doesn't have to be perfect either because I'm going to end up covering it. Um, yeah. So there's that one. So we, we're up to three now. Three of these. So let me throw these away. We don't need those pieces. Okay. I think we've got like one more to do. Okay. Yeah, you see I'm using uh, one of the trays to hold my glue drop drippings. Things come in so handy. You could probably even turn these into um, Christmas ornaments, really, if you wanted to. If you had, uh, uh, you know, Mod Podge and stuff like that, you could just take and use some of your fancy... Um, paper that they use and put glitter and stuff on it and whatnot and just make uh, ornaments get some kind of a hole puncher and punch a hole up in the top and if you wanted to do that too. I once made um, my daughter liked eating these ramen these ramen noodles that were in like these black bowls and I had take I had saved them as like you know to put food uh, in them again or whatever like you know do like a meal meal prep kind of thing with them or something instead of throwing them away well I never got around to doing the whole meal prepping thing with them so um she, she had started wearing jewelry so I took those containers and I turned them into a, what was it, three tier, two or three tier um, jewelry box. 
it's on my Facebook page. I I posted a picture on my Facebook page of it. Um, it, that came out really well. So yeah, it was it was cute. She don't still have it anymore though. I don't think. I think it kind of got destroyed. Now I'll probably end up adding flowers and stuff to this later on. Um. Once I make some flowers, because I don't have any flowers made. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Come on. Don't move. Right, let's just put this down here. This is our fourth box. So I managed to get four boxes made out of these clear white ones. Um, whoops. Let's throw that there. Just push it down. It should be even. Actually, this glue seems to come off pretty good. That's good. All right, so now we got uh, these four boxes. So I'm gonna flip them over, try to get them level with each other. Hmm. Now I'm debating if I, hmm. maybe I'll cover them with popsicle sticks. I think that's what I'll do. I got, I got plenty of popsicle sticks. First of all, I'll do this. Um, all right. Let's see. Got some, uh, where is it? Hold on, just gonna get some cardboard. Come on. Pizza box. Yes, guys, I'm gonna use the pizza box. Come on. Okay. Want a bottom? I'm just cutting some cardboard from a pizza box right now. Okay. Throw that away. I wanted to try to do a two layer, but this will work too, I suppose. 
Oops, got some hair stuck to this. No, I think I, yeah, it was just cool. Got some felt. This is felt. Some black felt. Some of the bottom of that. Cover this. Cover this with the, the felt. Put some of this off here. Guess I don't need it all. It's quite quite a bit on there. Okay. I'll just put a little bit of glue there. Fold this over. Fold this over. Like I said, this is an experiment. This is the first time of me making this. I had an idea and I just figured I'd <laughs> give it a go. See what happens. All right. Close up the sides on here. I want to give it a sturdy bottom area. I'm trying to do everything on camera, but I have a very small area. Right now, I'm just closing up the ends the best that I can so it looks a little bit neater. I'm pulling off this uh, straggling glue. Right. Put a little bit more glue here. And some glue here. Hold it, let it uh, dry a little bit. Now I'm debating if I should wrap the um, wrap the pen the boxes uh, or not. Hmm. Oh. Alright, let's 
screw this. Because so I don't want these to come apart. So I'll make sure I put a good amount of glue there. And I'm just going to st stick them together. Stick them together like that. I think I'm going to need to put another glue stick in my glue gun, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yep, definitely. We're just going to need some more glue. And then just put some more glue on this one. Yeah, I think I'm going to end up putting some of the popsicle sticks here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And I would think you could put uh, another level, maybe. Hmm. Huh. You could stack them. <laughs> That'd be cool. I wonder. How many of these you'd be able to... Uh, you'd only be able to put a couple of these. Yeah. I'm just thinking, guys. Just thinking. Maybe. Let me try to... You know what, I want to use this end, because this ends. Uh, sorry about that, guys. That was my youngest. They have the day off from school today. They have a snow day. So, if you hear any noises in the background, I'm sorry. Yeah, she's in the bathroom singing. Hmm. Come on. The only thing that I hate about working with a glue gun is that the glue does dry so fast. So you got to kind of work fast. And I'm, yeah, I'm slow sometimes. So. Did I even get this on there right? Okay, it's on there right. <laughs> so I guess this is going to end up only being a three-slot one. But, I mean, I could probably add more stuff to it later if I wanted to. Yeah. I guess what I'll do. I'll put some 
some glue here. <clears throat> See, I haven't completely closed up the bottom yet. Oh boy, she's just singing away in there. I'm just putting some glue around the back of it just to make sure that it holds this felt on. And I'm probably just going to cut this this off, this XSS um, that I have left off here at the top. Hmm. I'll probably do the same thing down here. Just cut the excess off. Right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the side down. I'm going to glue the sides down too. Yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna glue the ends. Yeah. Got a little bit of glue right here. Just glue it. Alright. Okay, so we got that side done. I mean, it doesn't look horrible, uh, you know, I mean. Okay, let's see, put some of that glue here. I'm just gluing this in now. I'm just folding in the end and holding it so that it glues down good. Mm -hmm. Alright, that should be good. There we go. Alright. Okay, so now we got little pieces of glue everywhere. Alright. So now I got this piece I still got another piece of black so we'll uh hmm that should be good let's try this 
side. Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. Put some more glue here. Just push it down here, push it down here. A little bit doggy here. I hope you guys can see this. Um, <coughs> then we're going to do the sides again. Up the sides. Oh, it's hot, hot, hot. Very hot glue. Come on. Just gluing it, that's all. Just gluing it in the sides. All right, that should be good. Oh, all this glue is sticking everywhere. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing over on this side. Glue this side down. And I'm going to glue it up here at the top. Just put the glue straight across. It's not perfect, but I'm sure you guys could probably come up with a better way of doing this. Um, it's a bit of a mess, but it's just an idea. And I'm not, you know, I'm trying to just do this really fast. It was just something that I thought of at the moment and, you know, thought it would be fun. You know what? Just gonna put some glue on here, and then just gonna tuck this in there. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Just put some glue there and tuck it in. I'm just gluing everything to everything here, guys. All right. So, all right, let me clean up some of this mess that I got going on here before I uh, make an even bigger mess. Okay. Throw 
this away. All right. Still had a couple trays left over. Um, let me do the ends. Mm -hmm. okay. hmm. Cut this strip in half. Hold on, guys. Let me get it just a little drink. Mm. Coffee. Okay. I'm going to put some glue here on the corner. Here. Put some glue here. And some glue here. And then glue here. Okay. Lots and lots of glue. And take this piece and just burn myself. Ooh, that's a hot glue. <clears throat> Make sure this up there enough. All right. Don't burn yourself, guys. Yeah. You know, even some some nice printed um, cardstock would look really nice doing doing this actually. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take and glue my glue gun to that, yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna put some glue on this and then just tuck this inside, inside the box. Mm -hmm. Yep, just tuck it in there. Yeah. So see, so far. It's not too bad, right guys? It's not horrible. Um Okay. So, I'm going to do the same thing over here. Put some more glue here, down here, and up the side. And then put a bunch of glue in here. Make sure that it stays on there. Make sure that my piece of felt is even. Covering the end. Yep, yeah, it is. Okay, now I'm just going to put some more glue here. And put some glue here. And then I'm just going to tuck this in inside the box. And let it dry. All right. Oh, nice. It was glued to my table. I didn't even realize it. So, come on. All right. Now, what are we going to do? Let's see. What do we have? My little handy dandy crafting box. Yay! Okay. Got some bling. Oh, everybody loves bling. Who doesn't like bling? Got some ribbon and lace and wire. Okay. Ooh. Okay, okay. Ooh, look at that, guys. 
one of my things that I just showed me making one in my hair tutorial video of me making the hair stuff. I'm going to use this one. I think that would look really pretty. Maybe I'll use these. I don't know. That's a thing. We can put some beads on there. Definitely gonna use that piece. <clears throat> okay, so we got some lace here. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some of this lace here. You know, and because it will actually kind of hide the um, the crappy glue job I did. And I think I'm going to, you know what, I think I'm going to put some black right here too to cover this area up a little bit. Let me see. Use some of these scrap pieces of black that I have left over that I had cut off or from earlier that I cut off. Let's see. Okay, we'll do that. This is what we'll do. We'll throw some glue here, right? And we'll take this and put it there like that. Ooh, and it's hot. And we'll do this one too while I'm at it. Put this one there too. Hmm. Stupid glue. I know I'm not going to need any more of this. Okay. So, we're going to glue here. We'll just kind of... Dang, grab it. I'm trying to not make such a mess, but this glue gun is beyond ridiculous. <laughs> yes, I'm blaming it on the glue gun. It's all the glue gun's fault. Alright. Glue this inside. on stay in there and you could just make numerous ones of these and then basically do the same thing that I did like this but what you could do is you could um, attach different levels it's going back probably um, yeah I mean, you could re you could arrange this any way that you want. Make as many of these as you want. You can make it longer. You can make it, you know, stackable. Like I said, this is just was just an idea of something to do to use up those boat extra boats that we get all the time, you know. Instead of it just sitting there or us just chucking them away. Mm, refurbish it. Turn it into something that you could use. My daughter does her makeup a lot. She's got all kinds of brushes. Um, you know, so this would be good for her to put her brushes in. And like I said, if you got like colored pencils and stuff or... Even with diamond painting, you can put your diamond painting pens in here. Just picking off some of this stuff. 
All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take <coughs> some of this. And I'm just going to do it like this. I'm going to I'm going to do the should I do the bottom first or the top? Oh, I'm going to do the top first. Put a dab of glue there. Right? <coughs> Now I folded my lace in half because I want it to be really frilly. So I folded it in half. And I burned myself again because, you know. Oh, come on, this stupid stringy glue. Let it dry for a few minutes. I just put like a light line of glue that just totally no don't do that dang it and just lightly tap it with your fingers so that the lace touches the glue so that it will glue to the box. Or the pencil case, whatever. Put a little bit of glue here. One across this way. Okay. And I'm gonna wrap this around this way. Turn it. Just like that, just want to tap it. <coughs> See, it's coming along, guys. It's coming along. And put a little bit of glue this way. And I'll just go like this. some more glue you're just going around it with the glue and gradually just lightly where did I you know what I'm not even gonna be stupid I am gonna use this glue pen okay and stop burning myself for a little while <laughs> Because I keep burning myself. Okay. All right. Let's just take a little bit of a guess as to how much is. Mm, let's see, right about there. Okay. So cut that off. Now, just put a little bit there. And put some glue here. Crossed. Okay. All right. And you just glue it. Okay. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. All right. <laughs> now I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom. Then this will kind of hide the crappy job I did. <laughs> um when I put this together. Uh, so I'll turn it on its side. Wait, hold on. I need another glue stick. Look at, look at the size of this glue stick, guys. Look at the size of this thing. It's humongous. Um. Just put it up a little bit. Right. 
right. So we're gonna once again we're gonna fold it. But this time we're gonna uh, pull it down a little bit. Pull it down here a little bit. I want that to cover the bottom. Alright. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Okay. We're gonna put some more glue. I'll clean all this this um glue off of here later on that I got all over the place. This glue off here. This is the bottom. So you're not going to see this. Got all kinds of glue on the bottom of this. Alright. So turn it again. Okay. And we're just going to glue, glue it some more. So a nice thin layer of glue. See, just gluing it around. Okay, and then we're just gonna put this last little tiny bit on here. All right, mm -hmm. right. We put that little tiny bit there. Snip this off right here. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, all right. So we got it. The lace on there. See, guys, it's, it's, it's it doesn't look too bad, right? It's a little pencil holder, um, and I'm I still got more stuff that I can add to it. Um, get some bling. And take and add some bling to this. Let's see, can put some bling here on the sides. Just hide the sides. Cover that. Um, I don't know. Or we could just put a layer of bling around. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Come on. Just give me a sec, guys. I'm just cutting this. Just cutting it around so I can add this to the sides all 
Alright, let's just say this should be enough. If not, I can do more. Alright. So, I want to put, um, a layer of bling here. Okay. Yeah, just add some bling to it. Make it all sparkly and shit. Yeah. Okay, flip this around. And this stuff, this so this this bling stuff, you can get it right at the Dollar Tree. In a couple different colors. Um, so you don't have to use silver. There's gold. There's pink. There's like a teal or a turquoise color. Um, I have to clean up all this glue after I'm done. I'm just making a mess, guys. One hot mess. Come on. Okay. Is that? Let's put this. Mm -mm -mm. Let's put more of this. Oops, there we go. There we go. Finish drying. All right, so we just need a little piece that'll fit. Putting the last piece of the bling on here, guys. There we go. All right, so this is what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see it good. That's the back of the box. The sides. Okay. <coughs> now, like I said, I do have a piece of bling to put on here, which I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. But what I want to do first is, you know what? I'm just gonna put it here. 
Whoops. Come on. Maybe put it in the center right here. And then wrap some bling around it. Yeah, we could probably do that. Yeah. Okay. Just want to make sure I put enough to hold this on here so that it doesn't fall off. I don't want it to fall off. Just hold it on there to dry. There we go. So, there. And now, I mean, you guys could put some more bling up around the top of this if you wanted to. Around the top of the box. If you wanted to do that, you could even do, a, you know, Another layer around the top if you wanted. Or bling. You know what? I might do that because I kind of like it like that. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Let that dry for a second. This put this on. There we go. Hold on, guys. I need a drink again. Mm. So you turn it around. I'm just I'm just gluing. Um, more bling up around the top. I see you can never have too much bling. Make sure that these are pushed in there. Just cutting some more bling to finish this top part of the box off. Hmm. Yeah, that should be enough. here wrap it around this way okay okay here we go All done. And there we go. Beautiful, right, guys? Look at that. Top. Hope you guys can see that good. Let's see. Let me if I move this there. So that's what it looks like. <coughs> so 
So yeah, um, this is my little pencil box that I made. Let's see. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's try. I'll use it for my markers. Come on. Let me just get them all out. Come on. Come out the box. The canister. Yeah. <laughs> so as you can see it can hold quite a bit of crap guys um, yeah Hope you guys enjoyed this random crafting tutorial on how to make a pencil holder out of our leftover diamond pin uh, drill trays. Um, I'll maybe I'll come up with another project that we can make with these. Um, but this is to get you guys started. I hope you enjoyed this. If you like this kind of stuff, please like and subscribe, and let me know what you think about this little tutorial in the in the comment section thank you guys have a good day bye